My wallet's looking very bare because in the middle of the night last night, my nano leaves decided to fall off the wall and I don't have anything sticky to stick them back up. So, love that for me. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. As you can tell, we have this new setup. I've moved house. I have an office now. Um, things are very empty still. It's all a big work in progress. Empty, 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 but we'll get there eventually. Today I wanted to talk about the new Animal Crossing update that we got. It released on the 30th of September and it's the whole Halloween event started on the 1st of October, which means that everyone is now living that October spoopy Halloween life in Animal Crossing. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Twitch. I stream two times a week because that study life is all too consuming. Links for everything will be in the description box below. Okay, I just want to disclaim that everything we're talking about today is just my opinion. It doesn't mean jack shit in the grand scheme of things. It's just my opinion. I do love this game so, so, so much, but I do have a couple of points I want to bring up and a couple of things I'm kind of on the fence about or just confused about. So as I said, we got the update on the 30th of September and I was streaming it as it went live. So we were exploring it together over on Twitch and overall it was a decent update. So I did a poll on Twitter and I asked, how happy are you with the Animal Crossing update? 50% of people said extremely happy, 30% of people said underwhelmed and 20% of people said average. Do with that information what you wish. So with the new update, we got a few things. I have my little notebook here so I make sure I don't miss anything. We got a bunch of new skins. We got a bunch of new eye colors. We got a bunch of new costumes, which is very fun. We got Jack. Everyone loves Jack. And we finally got the much anticipated farming. At the moment, the only thing we can farm is pumpkins, which... I mean, I feel like we could have gotten a couple other things to farm, maybe like squash or corn, cornfields, squash and pumpkin are quite similar, but that's just me being a greedy bitch and wanting more than I probably deserve, but we'll definitely be getting more things to farm and grow and garden and all that fun stuff very, very soon. I'm sure we're getting that big update at the end of November, so... I'm pretty positive that that's going to have a lot more farming things in it. We got a bunch of new DIY recipes and items that are all Halloween themed. Um, did I mention the candies? We got candies as well, which you can only buy a single candy a day at Nook's Cranny. So when I say everything like that, the Halloween event, Jack, candy, skin, eyes, costumes and farming, it sounds like we got a shit ton of stuff, which I mean... Technically, we got a decent amount of stuff, but the skin, eyes, and costumes are purely cosmetic. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy we got them, but they're very surface level. It doesn't really add much to my game except make my character look different, which I'm happy about, but I feel like we could have done more. The whole thing with the pumpkins. So, you can even buy them from Leaf or from Nook's Cranny. I recommend going to Leaf because, first of all, he's cute as pie. And second of all, they are half price at Leaf. A pumpkin star at Nook's Cranny is 280 and at Leaf is 140 So support your local sloth and buy from Leaf. Once you plant them, they take four days to grow. And you can grow up to three pumpkins per plant depending on how much you water them. You can get four colors. We got orange, white, yellow, and green. That's all good and fun. You use those pumpkins to customize your Halloween DIYs slash your Halloween items. Now on the topic of Halloween items and Halloween DIYs, so you get the DIYs like you normally would, bottles, villages, balloons, everything like that. You get them the normal way. You can also... Each day, buy a Halloween item from Nook's Cranny, which is a bit weird to me. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. The fact that it kind of takes away the need for me 
to grind out those pumpkins to craft the recipe myself. If I can just go to Nook's Cranny and buy a new Halloween item each day, what's the point of me really trying to grind out getting the recipes and everything? You can't catalog these items, so you can't just go and buy six spooky tables. I don't know. I'm unsure about it. How do you guys feel about the fact that we can buy from Nook's Cranny? Let me know in the, in the comments below how you feel. So my biggest issue, it's not really an issue. My biggest complaint about this update and this event is that there are a handful of items you can only get on the night of Halloween, October 31st, the last day of the Halloween season. You get these items from Jack by giving him candies and lollipops, I believe, and you can only get them from Jack on the night of Halloween. I also didn't say this earlier, but the only time you're going to see Jack is on the night of Halloween. You're not going to see him during the weeks leading up to Halloween. Only on the night of Halloween are you going to see that pumpkin boy. So if you're someone that time travels in your game like myself, you can go to Halloween right now, get everything you need from Jack and you can go back to present day and enjoy the month of Halloween in its utmost decorative form. However, if you are not someone that time travels, which there are a few people, quite a large amount of you guys, don't tra time travel in your game, which is completely fine. I'm not here to debate whether you should time travel or not. Play your game how you want to play your game. I can't tell you otherwise. But if you do not time travel, you are going to spend the month getting your DIYs that you can get leading up to the night of Halloween. Uh, hopefully you get them all. The chances of you getting them all, unless you sit there all day, every day playing Animal Crossing, which I mean, we are in a pandemic, so that's very possible. But if you want these last handful of items from Halloween, from Jack, you're going to have to wait till the end of the month on October 31st to get them. The following day is November 1st. Christmas is right around the corner. Halloween's done and gone. So you're not going to get the chance to use these items. You're not going to get the chance to utilize these items as much as you could have in October. Am I making sense? I'm trying really hard to make sure everything I'm saying is correct. So what I'm saying is you're not going to get all your Halloween items till Halloween night. And then the following day is November. So Halloween's over. I just don't know why they made the decision to do that. We could have had Jack Sharp on Sunday nights. He could have given you one of these items. So then you could have used that said item for the, the month of October versus waiting to the last day of October to be able to use them. Like what's the point of giving us these last few Halloween items the last night of October I'm not going to be able to use them again until next year which I assume by them will have even more different content unless I time travel back to the beginning of October it just doesn't make sense to me I don't know why Nintendo decided to do it like that I've said the same thing like in six different ways filming this because I'm trying to make sure I get what I'm saying across as clear as possible I just don't know why Nintendo made that decision and I don't like it. <laughs> I love Nintendo. I love Animal Crossing. And I love this game. I don't love the decision that was made. That's my only real issue with this update and this event. I'm pretty happy with everything else. I feel like we didn't really get much when you look at it. We got a couple cosmetic things. We got farming. Farming is the biggest thing for sure. I'm very happy we got farming. I'm a farming whore sitting here with nearly 500 hours in Stardew Valley. I can appreciate farming. I wish we got a couple more things to farm for now because I'm telling you, I'm low-key already sick of fucking pumpkins, but I am happy we got farming. So overall, we got a handful of cosmetic things, the skin, the eyes, the costumes. We got farming, massive, love it. Hallelujah, glad we have it. We got the Halloween event, which is on the 31st of October for a single night. And then you got candies, which you can only get once a day from Nook's Cranny. And you need those candies to give to your villagers on the night of Halloween. I don't know. It's just all a bit weird. I feel 
if you don't time travel in this game, I feel like this event is going to be a big struggle. I'm going to be honest. I feel like it's going to be a massive struggle unless you are consistently playing every single day, which a lot of people do, but also a lot of people literally don't have the time to do that. You're going to find this event pretty lackluster, I think. That's just what I think. But let me know what you think in the comments below. But yeah, let me know what you think about this update in the comments below. Do you wish we got more? Where the fuck's Brewster? Are you happy with what we got? Would you have improved a couple things? Or are you just big fat disappointed? Let me know. No hate to Nintendo. These are just all my opinions. I'm a literal nobody, so it's okay. It's okay if we have different opinions. It's Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. All my social media links will be down below. I live stream on Twitch twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays in Australia, which is probably like Monday and Wednesday for y'all in the Northern Hemisphere. Be kind, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.